All right, finally made it to the uh, off-grid cabin, and I've got these uh, new solar panels from HQST. These are 190 watts each, so that's going to give me just under 400 watts of solar, and uh, that's going to be a big upgrade. So let me take you around here, and I'll show you what I've got right now. So right now I've got amorphous panels that uh, I'm using. There's a lot of panels up there, but it's only 200 watts. And uh, it used to be that uh, amorphous panels were the only option you had if you wanted to use your panels in low light situations, partially blocked situations and that kind of thing. Um, but now monocrystalline uh, panels are starting to have that capability in the high-end uh, versions of those panels. So like the HQST uh, panels, these have uh, that capability where you, they work in low light and even partially blocked panels. So that's something that hasn't always been available. It is today on high-end panels like the HQST panels. So let me uh, get these two installed up on the roof and then we can go from there. All right, so I've got one panel installed. So let me go ahead and get the other panel up there and then we'll go inside and uh, hook up the uh, charge controller and the battery. Okay, so this is my solar coming in. So I've got to create some cables that I can use to connect from here to the charge controller. So I've got my positive cable done. And I've got these connectors that come with the HQST charge controller. So let me grab One here. Okay, first I need to uh, strip this. Let me strip this and then we'll get this installed. Alright, I need to use the largest one here. So now I'll be able to connect my solar input to the uh, charge controller. Alright, so I need to remove this panel, this cover, and it'll give me access to my connections. And you can see here that I've got PV positive. This is my negative bus bar here, so all negatives are going to go on the here. But I've got my uh, PV, which is photovoltaic, that's the solar panel. And I've got battery one, battery two, and then I've got an external uh, connector here. So what I'm going to use, I'm going to connect my positive here, coming from my solar panel. Okay, that 
it's going to be this guy right here. Okay, and I don't have that connected up yet. And then my negative coming from the solar panel. I'm just going to connect, I'll connect it right here. Now, I'm going to need my battery, my two cables for my battery, so I've got to go make those. Alright, I've got my two battery terminal ends and my charge controller ends here, so let me get these connected up. Battery one connector. And then I'll connect my negative cable up here. Okay, that's all I need to connect up. Here, so let me get this cover plate on and we'll come right back. All right, I've got my HQST battery here. So what I need to do is get my charge controller connected up. To my battery and I also need to uh, have my uh, positive and negative cables going to my uh, my DC uh, fuse box and I've got that connector right here I'm not sure if you can see that I've got the connector right here so I just need to connect this to the battery and then I can connect that up Let's do these at the same time. Okay. And 
and again nothing is live here I don't have I don't have the other end of either one of these cables connected to power yet. It's not connected to my solar panels and it's not connected to the fuse box. That is all there is to it. Now I've got my batteries connected to my charge controller. So now all I need to do is connect to my solar panel. Okay, now I've got can see that my battery one is connected and it is being charged right now. So I should be able to connect my DC and then I should be able to power my lights. So if we come over here now I should be able to turn this light on. Yep. So, and that'll turn it off. And I've got a light over here, which is working now. Turn it on and off. We can see that I've got 13.6 volts on the battery. So now I've got my charge controller with battery one is uh, charging my HQST battery. Battery two is going to be reserve. I'm going to be using that to power my uh, my pump house that I'm going to use as a shed as well. So that's going to future proof that. And uh, I am going to put this battery in parallel with a bunch of other, a uh, couple of other batteries so that I can beef up how many amp hours I have. But uh, I don't need to use my portable light anymore because I've got power back to the cabin. So you can see just how easy it is to connect these guys up and uh, you'll be up and running. Yeah, I'm really impressed with uh, with not only this charge controller, but uh, pretty much everything that I've gotten from HQST, from the solar panels to the battery, to uh, other charge controllers that I've used in my uh, camper build. So yeah, I've never had any products from HQST that I wasn't very impressed with. Okay, so to set your uh, charge controller up to your battery, um, this button right here allows you to toggle between battery one and battery two. If you press and hold it, and you can see that it's beeping faster now, now I can toggle between these different colors so I can assign the uh, battery chemistry type to it. So if you can see here white is uh, LifePo 4 12 volt, blue is 24 volt LifePo 4, and then red is gel and you know we've got the different colors depending on what the battery chemistry is. Um, since it was already set to LifePo 12 volt I would just leave it there and it'll either time out or you can press and hold once you've got everything set and then it will uh, go back and uh, be set up the way it's supposed to. 
So it's really easy to map these out. You do want to make sure that you do assign the proper battery to the proper uh, chemistry so that you don't do any uh, damage to your battery. Okay, so this is the uh, battery box that was powering my uh, cabin before. And uh, it did a great job, but it was time for an upgrade. If you were wondering what all that beeping was, it was my uh, CO2 and propane detector uh, coming back on once I hooked up the uh, fuse box. So that's good to go. So yeah, I think that is going to do it for uh, this video. That's how easy it is to connect up the uh, HQST charge controller, batteries, and solar to so that you have a complete system. It's really easy. Anybody can do it. If you guys are looking for power to a shed, um, you don't have power run out there, throw some solar panels on top. Get a battery and a charge controller and you can be up and running that fast. So uh, that's going to do it for this video. I'll talk to you guys later.